we're tasked with finding the smallest number inside of an array. So given any array of integers, we need to make a solution that finds the smallest integer. So in this example, we have 34, 15, 88, and two. We need to return two. The same goes for our second array. We'd need to return minus three, four, five. The final assumption is that for the purpose of this example, the supplied array will not be empty. So we don't have to check for that. I'm going to use Quarka. So inside of the editor, I'm going to paste in the function and we will simply make a new constant called numbers. And that will be 34, 15, 88, and two. This matches the first example. And we'll start off then by finding the smallest integer based on the numbers. So it's up to us now to write this function. So what we can do based on the fact that these arguments are an array of numbers is we can actually return math.min and this represents the smallest number based on the spreaded arguments. And if you've recently looked at my spread operator video, you'll see that what we do here is actually quite similar, if not the same for this problem. So we can say const to smallest number is equal to finding the smallest integer based on those numbers. And if we log that out, we can see that we do get two. Let's change any one of these numbers to be minus three, four, five. And of course we can expect to find minus three, four, five. And that's effectively because what we're doing is we're passing each item into this math.minimum, which returns us the smallest number based on that array. So I'm gonna take this function, I'm gonna copy it, and we'll paste it in as a solution. Let's run the sample tests to ensure everything passes as expected. After submitting, we can see some other examples, and it turns out everybody seems to be using a similar approach, although this one does use array reduce, takes in the previous and the current argument and returns the minimum based on that. So it does use quite a similar approach, but to be honest, I do think the arguments and the spread operator tends to be better. Same goes for this sorted example. So we have this comparison function, and then of course we're just returning that smallest number. Once again, we have another reduce example. This one uses a for loop. So essentially we have each one of the arguments inside of the for loop and then a simple comparison function. And of course, we're then returning that number. So based on these solutions, I do think the spread operator is the best, but let me know what you think inside of the comment section and how you think I did in this test. Oh, this you crazy mother.